Hello all, JT here. We've had an exciting refresh to our product suite. It's called the Lattice Manager. This is an upgrade from our now deprecated web wallet. The Lattice Manager will enable you to integrate custom contract data directly onto the screen of the Lattice, add custom address labels, and enable connections to Ethereum signing applications such as MetaMask, Frame, and MyCrypto. All these features will provide for a smoother and safer Web3 experience. Let's get started. First, let's get you connected. Go to the Lattice Manager website, lattice.gridplus.io. Enter your device ID, which can be found on your Lattice One home screen. Enter any password you like If you forget your password, you can always remove the permission on your Lattice by going to Permissions, Lattice Manager, Delete, and Reconnect using the steps again. Now on to the final step. Press Connect. You should see a new screen asking you to enter a secret, which will now be displayed on your Lattice One screen. Once you type in the correct secret, the Lattice Manager will be paired to your Lattice One. This will also create a new Lattice Manager permission on your device. And with that, you are done with the setup. Let's have a look at what you can actually do here. Address tags are an accessory to the ABI smart contract definitions. With this, you create custom display names for commonly used smart contracts or wallet addresses, which enables you to get the most out of your Lattice from a security standpoint. Not only will all transactions be readable, Ethereum addresses will be displayed as custom text instead of the standard 0x format. Using our Lattice Manager to upload contract data will ensure future interactions with that contract and will display differently on your device, meaning you will no longer see arbitrary hexadecimal strings that you can't read. Human readable data right on the Lattice screen is an essential feature in a Web3 environment. We have several pre-compiled ABI contract packs ready to go, or you can load custom packs using the address and manual tabs. Within the settings menu, you can control access from the apps which your device is paired with and set up your own message routing infrastructure. See the knowledge base for the guide. By default, the Bitcoin send and receive function is hidden. Once you enable it, the send and receive function for BTC will appear on the left-hand menu. Transact Bitcoin using send and receive tabs. It's quite straightforward. And there you have it. For more information, please visit us at gridplus.io. You can also find us on Reddit, Discord, and Twitter. On behalf of the Grid Plus team, my name is JT. Cheers and big hugs from Kansas City.